Is there a new nuclear arms race? The U.S. could spend more than $1 trillion pounds 675 BN over the next 30 years modernizing its arsenal of nuclear weapons. It wants to make them faster and more accurate. Other nuclear states are trying to do the same, raising questions about their commitment to disarm. Are we entering a new nuclear arms race? John McClendon Technological Advance is the race John Micklin is editor of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists It is an arms race, it's just a different kind of arms race. It's one which technological advance is the race. Nuclear countries are trying to make sure that the other nuclear countries don't get some sort of technological edge. There's a reasonable argument to make that 40-year-old weapons systems are unreliable and that you don't want weapons that are this dangerous to be unreliable so modernization doesn't seem like an inherently crazy thing to pursue. For instance in the United States, the current plan is to replace all three legs of what is called the nuclear triad with entirely new weapons, the new land-based missile, the new long-range nuclear bomber and new nuclear submarines. It's estimated to be something on the order of a trillion dollars over 30 years. Russia is undergoing the same sort of rebuild, too. The United States is upgrading its nuclear bombs to be more precision-guided weapons that can be dropped from farther from target. Because they can be more accurate the yield on the weapon can be reduced. This does create in some the fear that you can use them and not start a worldwide war.